Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm great, Liora. How are you? I'm well. How has your past year been going? Oh, wow. It's been it's been crazy, right? Um, I've been really fortunate, you know, uh, with 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 this pandemic. Um, you know, I, I wasn't able to work for, you know, approximately eight months. And uh, I had just auditioned for Rutherford Falls right before the shutdown. And I got the part. I was so excited. I was scheduled to fly to LA for a table read. And then the world pressed pause. And I thought, oh my gosh, the chance to be in a show, um, you know, with a native showrunner and, and such a huge uh, indigenous writing team. I was like, this is a dream come true. And then the dream got put on hold. Uh, but then uh, Universal TV and Peacock, they went to extraordinary lengths uh, to get us back on the lot. And um, you know, they spent a lot of money uh, to keep us safe. And we were able to film the first season. Um, and I'm so grateful for that. So it's, it was a crazy year. And now you're nominated for a Canadian Screen Award for your brilliant work in Blood Quantum. I know. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of, of, of that film. I think we've got uh, 10 CSA nominations and five nominations from, from the Quebec film industry. Uh, yeah, playing trailer was, was a, a highlight of my, my, uh, my career so far. Amazing. So for those that don't know, tell them a little about Rutherford Falls and a little about Terry. Uh, Rutherford Falls is a new show um, from Mike Schur, Ed Helms, and Sierra Tella Ornelas. Um, uh, this, is a, this is a show that examines uh, life in a fictional town called Rutherford Falls. And it, it centers on the uh, friendship between two lifelong friends, two BFFs, um, uh, one played by Ed Helms and the other played by newcomer uh, Janice Meeting, who was one of the writers on the show when, when she first uh, became involved and she was so brilliant that they were like, wait a second, she should audition for the lead. And she got it. Like, like the, there's no greater story than that. Um, so the, the show explores their relationship and the people in their lives. And I'm really fortunate um, to play the part of Terry Thomas, uh, who's the CEO of uh, uh, the Running Thunder Casino uh, for the Minishanka Nation which is the fictitious tribe uh, that, we, that, we, that we play. And it's upstate New York and there's amazing, hilarious uh, controversies that erupt throughout the season um, based on how two ideas of history keep colliding. Um, you know, the settler version and the native version and, and how we perceive ourselves. Um, it's, it's a show that's so beautifully sophisticated. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be part of it. And there's been a lot written, a lot talked about episode four about capitalism versus tribal capitalism that Terry delivers beautifully, I might add. Uh, so what sort of feedback have you received, um, not only to that speech, but to the show and to Terry? Um, I've been overwhelmed. I have to be quite honest. I, I've been overwhelmed by the response we've received uh, for the show. People love it. People are like, I've binged it. I'm binging it now for the third time. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my God. And the people are like, you have to see this show. You know, Dan, Dan Levy said, please watch this show. It's so good. Um, so we're getting a lot of love. Um, and I'm, I'm so grateful that uh, uh, people see us. Uh, people recognize um, how smart the show is, how great the writers are. Uh, and, uh, you know, Jenna and Ed, of course, are brilliant. And I've been singled out too for my work as an actor. And I'm, I'm so proud of that. So I'm curious as a Canadian, this show has several Canadians on the show yourself, Debra Jacobs, Dustin Milligan, and then you have Rapinder Gill as co-executive producer, co-writer. So is that just a coincidence or I'm just curious? <laughs> it's the Canadian takeover of the world, the global takeover, it's happening. <laughs> And it started here with Rutherford Falls. Um, no, I'm, I'm so delighted to have fellow Canadians on, on, on set with me. Um, I'm so, so proud that Dustin was part of that episode four scene. We just had so much fun filming it. He was so wonderful um, as my scene partner. Uh, Rupinder also wrote that episode. So what a gift, what a gift it was. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of, of, of my uh, fellow Canadians on the show and um, 
Uh, hopefully there'll be a few more. Devery was so good. Oh my God, Devery was so great as, as my assistant. I completely agree. Uh, so you mentioned the lovely Jana, but what was it like working with Sierra Taylor Ornelas and Sydney Freeland? Oh, uh, those women, those women are absolute goddesses. Um, Sierra, uh, our showrunner, is simply the most brilliant and funny and kind um, artist I've ever met in Hollywood. Um, and I've, I've been in the game 30 years. Uh, she's an incredible showrunner, a, a massive talent. Uh, she had my back every day, um, supporting me, supporting my choices, um, helping me, you know, I'm new to comedy and they were willing to help me um, day in, day out to find my feet, uh, my sea legs. Uh, Sydney Freeland, of course, is another uh, uh, Navajo director and she uh, directed episode four. Um, she's so brilliant. Uh, I've loved working with her. Um, having that kind of representation behind the camera is really important for me as an actor in front of it, uh, because I know I can trust the work. I can always trust um, that the information that is being shared you know, on set um, comes from lived experience, comes from um, our sisterhood, brotherhood, uh, know, know that it comes from community. Um, and I think that's what's been essential uh, in the show's success so far. You've worked with some incredible artists and storytellers over the years in front of, behind the camera, as you mentioned, as part of your theater company. Um, are there artists that you'd still like to work with in the future or that you'd worked with in the past you'd like to work with again? Oh my God, yes, very much so. <laughs> well, I think, I think Jeff and I have started a relationship, Jeff Barnaby, have started a relationship with Blood Quantum. I'd love to work with him again. Um, Almaya Tailfeathers, of course, is a brilliant actress and filmmaker. Um, you know, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd do background for Elmaya if she asked me to. Uh, Sydney, uh, Sierra, uh, Sterling Harjo. Uh, there's so many brilliant um, Indigenous filmmakers that I want to work with. Um, you know, just here on Turtle Island, let alone, you know, overseas and in Aotearoa with Taika Waititi. And I mean, we're, we're, this is a, this is a renaissance. I really believe this is an indigenous renaissance in terms of the kind of talent that um, are coming onto the world stage. Uh, I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to be able to contribute. And finally, what have you been watching or reading lately? <laughs> I've been on Twitter, like way too much. <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm actually watching um, The Falcon and Winter Soldier um, uh, on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I can't wait for uh, the second season of Home Before Dark. I'm a big fan of uh, Brooklyn Prince, and I have a little, little role in the, in the second season, so I'm really looking forward to those. Uh, and of course, I got to binge uh, Rutherford Falls for the eighth time. He is not too many. No, not at all. No. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your art, Michael. I really appreciate it. Good luck at the Canadian Screen Awards. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>